Hey, I'm Ed Kane from FunctionalTherapy.com or the FunctionalTherapyClinic.com or FunctionalTherapyMagazine.com or check us out on Facebook or YouTube. Uh, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Again, this is just uh, a little disclaimer here. This maybe not, doesn't work for everybody, but if you're uh, if you're following this less pain, more gain idea, you're going to be uh, a lot more confident and be able to move. I am teaching this move to uh, so many people that I really wanted to get this out there. We call it the pelvic pore, okay? Pelvic pore, okay? Boom. The pelvic pore, that was named by my son, Stephen, who, uh, you know, when we're te teaching people how to do this, it, because we're, we're talking about something pretty special, uh, but it's just a very simple, such a simple move. What I want you to do is imagine your pelvis is like a bucket. Now, what's this for, by the way? If you have a lot of back pain, I'm teaching this to people. It gets them out of back pain quickly because, remember, I'm always advocating less pain, more gain. But I want you to, to be able to get into those positions where you don't have pain. If you're, if you're jamming into something, again, if you, if you are unable to do this, check with your doctor. You can take a look at it. Check with your uh, therapist, any, anyone. But... Uh, do everything within your own tolerance and uh, just be safe. So, very simply, I'm going to teach you this idea. Imagine your pelvis is like a bucket, a bucket of water. Okay, so we got this. We got this bucket, and we're just going to uh, here. I've got my little my little kettle here. You're going to just pour a little bit of water out the front or the back. Okay, just imagine your pelvis is like this. My pelvis is a bucket now. If I was going to rock the bucket like this so that I could pour a little tiny bit of water just out the front of the bucket, I drop. Right? I pour it out like that. I come back to where I'm most relaxed. Now, if you have back pain and you're able to go to some place where you have zero back pain, wow. Some people are, like somebody uh, that learned this this week uh, with me was just over the phone and they were like out of pain for the first time in eight months. Just in, that, just in that moment, you're just finding that place where it works. And then you can tilt that bucket back, pour a little water out the back. Now, if you need a different analogy, you could use a tail. I have a tail, and that water pouring out the front is like lifting my tail up. <laughs> That's fun. And then uh, if I want to tilt it back, I'm tucking my tail between my legs. Okay, so there we go. So that's the pelvic pour. You're pouring a little water out the back, pouring a little out the front. You want to get advanced, you can get and pour a little water out the side, right? Like what would it take to, to rock that pelvis out the side? You don't actually have to move with any of these uh, hanosomatic exercises, or Barrera somatic exercises. Um, you want to kind of be rocking into those positions. Okay? We're rocking like that. This is like the part of the bodyfulness experience I'm teaching just to help you get into your body. You want to be focused more down into your body. When you notice it, we'll talk, talk another time about how, where you are thinking of your, of your, uh, your pain, your discomfort. Um, so try, try this little thing. I'm, I close my eyes, I think of my pelvis. It's like this thing behind my head is thinking down there. But for right now, I'll tell you more about that in another video. Uh, that's the, uh, you're just doing the pelvic pour, rocking a little bit to get yourself into a good position where you can be kind of upright and relaxed, right? That's the idea. Pain-free, upright, relaxed, able to take on the world. And you can, you can apply this to uh, other positions, sitting down, lying down, um, if you can kind of think of that. But we'll, we'll teach you that in another video. So check us out. Uh, go ahead and subscribe here on YouTube or check us out on Facebook or whatever. Share this with your friends. Heck, if someone's having a lot of pain, you're just trying to get out of the pain for right now. If you're having other problems and you're having tingling down your leg, uh, really, please do follow through with the, the different uh, healthcare professionals that can help you out of any, any specific problems. But if this could help you, sometimes people can have a little bit of symptom reduction and not only that, go on and heal themselves from that also. So. Take it with a grain of salt. It's intended to help you out. So thank you very much for, for checking it out. I'm Ed Kane for functionaltherapy.com. Thanks.